welcome back and in today's video we will be talking about some of the major features of IoT so at the end you will be able to gain an understanding on how these IoT devices are connected with each other. As a design standard, any IoT device comes with some common set of features which includes the ability to connect, the ability to analyze and the ability to integrate. So what exactly is connectivity? Connectivity basically explains how various devices are connected to the IoT platform and under connectivity we will be talking about device virtualization, high speed messaging and endpoint management. Device virtualization is basically the standardized integration of a device with the IoT enterprise which is found in the cloud. As an example, let me take two power adapters. Well, remember the first one is a standard power adapter and then the second one is a power adapter with Wi-Fi connectivity. So the first power adapter should be manually used but the second one can be operated as a smart adapter because it can accept the signal sent and it will also be able to switch on or switch off automatically. Now let's go into high speed messaging. This enable reliable, secure and bi-directional communication between the devices and the cloud. So as an example, let me say that I switch on or switch off my AC using the phone, the, my smartphone. So this basically explains that the AC and my smartphone are connected to a specific platform. And that's how both devices interact with each other. That's the reason why we say that this system is bi-directional. And this to happen, we do need a system with a high speed messaging and communicating ability. If not, it, this, this system will be a failure. Now let's go into endpoint management. So endpoint management provides full visibility into the status of applications, data points and even connections while collecting data. So here under endpoint management, we will be able to understand which device sends which data and what needs to be done with these with the data which has been sent from a particular device and if this can't be done it will also be a failure of the system now let's go into analysis so after collecting all the relevant things we should be able to analyze the data collected and use them to build an effective business intelligence so under analysis we will be talking about stream processing data enrichment and event store so stream processing includes a real-time analysis of incoming as well as outgoing data streams with event aggregation filtering as well as correlation if the data coming off from the device is not a real not on a real-time basis there is no point in the system it's like you on your ac and it doesn't turn on or it turns on after 10 to 15 minutes so basically that's a failure now let's go into data enrichment enrich raw data streams with contextual information and generate composite stream that's basically and data enrichment this basically explains you know how the data the important information is selected and what is done with the uh, what the what is done with the collected in important information now let's go into event store so in event store any information that you need can be queried or visualized with the cloud with the cloud platform and here we're not just talking about big data but the platform you know will collect all the data and help us to categorize or analyze what's needed and what's not needed but remember that all the data collected by all these devices in the smart system will lead to big data and we are not talking about gigabytes here but instead we're talking about terabytes and this you know this could actually grow into a big data domain as well in a long term usage now let's go into integration where this in which actually includes the ability to integrate various models to improve the user experience and integration contains main three sections one is the enterprise connectivity then we have the rest api and command and control system under the enterprise connectivity let's say that i have an electricity issue at my home and then on one way is for me to contact the people who are supposed to clear it and they'll have to you know come to my home and then manually fix the problem but if you have a smart home then when this happens the platform will understand the problem and connect the organization then it will clear the problem automatically without me involving in it so you don't have to involve in this this smart home will just automatically work by itself and this saves a lot of time and a lot of energy this doesn't just happen to an uh, you know electricity this 
does just happen to an electricity issue but it can also happen to other devices because even other devices at a small in a smart home can be controlled in the same way but to understand how this communication happens we can bring in the rest api so rest api is an application program interface which includes a set of rules that define how an application or device can connect and communicate with each other so rest api is based on an integration with cloud apps and iot devices once i integrate the rest api with respect to the cloud application and iot devices communication between the platform device and the enterprise or the organization can be made more efficient and more easy to handle the final and the third part is command and control this is actually the final and the most important character needed to send messages to enterprise and mobile apps which is actually which should be independent of the connectivity and this can be done through a voice based recognition or even normal messaging system but if we build a system without the command and control option the system won't be of no use because we won't be able to control any device of the system therefore it will be a huge failure and as the end the main three aspects of how iot works is based on connecting data analyzing data and integrating data and this is the po best possible smart system and i hope that you guys did get a basic idea or an idea on the you know features of iot see you in the next video share subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button